Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you a trick on how you can add an alias to a managed property in SharePoint Online. Now, this is for situations when you are into building some advanced search experiences. For example, you have uh, different libraries with different uh, you know, types of you know documents, and they're using metadata, and you want maybe to you know build a query, roll up the information from different you know sources, different libraries, maybe uh, on another site, on another page. Uh, obviously, in this particular case, in this uh, scenario, you would need to rely on managed properties. You would need to create um, you know your own managed properties, map them to various crawl properties. Uh, and then build a query. Uh, I actually have some other videos on my YouTube channel that describe that. Today, what I would like to do is explain to you how you can add an alias uh, to the managed property. Why do you? Uh, why would you want to do that? Well, uh, if you uh, tried creating, uh, a, you know, uh, and mapping a managed property to crawl property, you might recall that they do not necessarily have a very uh, attractive or easy to remember name. Uh, let me show you actually the use case that I have, and then I'll explain to you how to add the alias. So here I have a document library uh, that uh, stores SOPs, standard operating procedures, and I just decided to tag them with a, a column called business function. So behind the scenes, it created a, a crawl property, right, with available within the search schema uh, with the crawl property that resembles this uh, particular name. And of course, what I did after that, I actually went in and, and I created uh, a managed property and mapped it to the crawled property that was created for this column. Uh, let me show you actually what I just described. So uh, we'll go behind the scenes uh, to uh, site settings, search schema, and then we'll go uh, and check out uh, that particular curl property. So we want to find that curl property for that column. And if you recall, the name uh, of the column was business function. So that's exactly what I am going to type in. And let me show you. All right, so let's uh, wait a few seconds till it finds it. Here we go. Uh, this is the crawl property that was created, right, after um, SharePoint uh, did its uh, thing with indexing and everything. And now I have already done this, but I created, I relied on this uh, refinable string. You know how in a search schema you have uh, those default uh, managed properties that you can use on map? Uh, well, I actually used one of them called refinable string 25, all right? And let me click on that. And essentially, it's mapped to, uh, you know, I just relied on this uh, out of the box, uh, you know, property. And of course, I uh, let me scroll all the way down. Uh, it's mapped to uh, this particular crawl property. And of course, I can map it to other crawl properties, right? If I want a one to many, but that's not the point, right? Um, the point is that uh, now, if I want to build a, a search query, all right, if I now uh, want to build the search query and actually, uh, I don't care, I guess I can be on this site. Uh, you can, I can, I will execute the search query here. Uh, what you need to do is you need to type in uh, the search query uh, exactly in this uh, format. So essentially it's the uh, manage property name, right column, and then uh, whatever the choice I'm searching. So for example, I want to find uh, all the managed properties with this particular name. So let's see what uh, comes up. Uh, and it found those two files. If you recall, um, I actually had two documents uh, in that library that were tagged with the, uh, with the uh, marketing tag. Now, uh, that's great, but uh, uh, you know, uh, who is going to remember this refinable string 25, right? It uh, just doesn't make sense to me uh, at, at all. So what we are going to do, what we can do is uh, associate this uh, managed property with an alias, all right? That will make a little bit more sense uh, to you. And let me show you how to do that. So once again, we have to go behind the scenes, uh, gear icon, set information, site settings, search schema. And of course we have to, um, you know, you know what we are going to say here under manage properties. I'm going to just type it in and find it. Here we go. Perfect. So um, once again, here is that property 
uh, map to the curl property, right? So what you need to do is click on it. Now, uh, all those uh, out of the box um, refinable properties, they uh, you cannot ch really change them. As you can see, it's all grayed out. However, if you scroll all the way down, uh, the only sections you can really change um, essentially the mapping, right? You can uh, map it to multiple crawl properties. But here is another in the middle of the screen. It's not really obvious, but under the alias, this is where you define the alias, all right? And this is an alternate name that will make sense to you. All right, so I just said, you know what? This is actually, you know, a division, right? Uh, different divisions that we have, marketing, human resources, and so on. So I call it a division. So you give this uh, a name, click OK, and uh, it does take some time, um, you know, maybe several hours, maybe up to 24 hours. But let me show you what the new experience uh, will be now. So anytime you now need to involve that refinable string, you know, 25 or whatever it was, managed property, you don't need to use it anymore. You just type in the alias. And, you know, obviously the whatever the, the keyword you're searching and look at this. Uh, it found the same two documents from that library, all right? Uh, because they were tagged by the marketing. So in this case, I didn't even need to uh, remember all this refinable string 21 or, you know, whatever, uh, you know, 55 or 70, whatever it is. Uh, it doesn't make sense. Just you can assign all these different aliases that make sense to you. And that's essentially what I wanted to show you in this quick video. So hopefully you found it useful and informative. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as uh, my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.